So this message goes out to all the Trump supporters, all the people out there who are anti-vaxxers. I don't personally agree with you, but there's something that you should know. Did you know that the U.S. Sheriff of the Year, the current U.S. Sheriff of the Year, shut down businesses in South Carolina, which is a red state, supposed to be Trump country? Did you know that he shut down businesses for COVID restrictions? Well, Sam, from what I've heard, it will be enforced here in South Carolina, and some lawmakers have been urging the governor to make staying at home and social distancing mandatory. Now that he's done that, those who don't comply with his order could face charges. Definitely not business as usual. This is this is entirely different. We're facing challenges that we've never had to do in law enforcement before. In addition to their daily duties, law enforcement officials across South Carolina must now take on a new task. We're also having to deal with that with people violating um, going out when they should go out too many in a group. See, you didn't know that because Blue Lives Matter and the U.S. Sheriff's Association didn't tell you that. But as you can see on the screen, I actually confirmed this. This is me actually recording a press conference where Leon Lott actually confirmed that he did this. So I'm very curious to see how Blue Lives Matter and these anti-vectors are going to respond to this. Because it's going to be very, very interesting because these people, they were talking about, you know, vaccine mandates and COVID restrictions is tyranny. And, and and I don't personally agree with you on some ends, on other ends, I do agree with you. But bottom line is, if you agree in any part that vaccine mandates and COVID restrictions is tyranny, then why in the world are you not saying anything about the U.S. Sheriff of the Year, the current U.S. Sheriff of the Year, shutting down American businesses? And while you're at it, did you know that Leon Lai is currently in federal court for covering up rapes? Yes, I am telling you the truth about this. This man has been covering up rapes. He not only covered up the rape of high school girls, at Spring Valley High School and has been accused of this. And, and as you can see, it has been major news. It's just that for some reason, many people haven't heard of it, but it's been featured on Yahoo News and also the Free Thought Project. So it's not that I'm just saying this, it's that there's a clear track a clear track record of it. He also did it to me personally when I was a kid. Uh, he covered up my child molestation and he did it to a woman named Brenda Bryan. And the Brenda Bryan story, I, I'll do a separate video about the Brenda Bryan story as it pertains to Leon Lott, but as you can see, this guy's a scumbag, and yet he's a U.S. Sheriff of the Year, so I'm very curious to see how Trump supporters are going to respond to this. Thanks for watching. If you would like more deep dive content, please go subscribe to my YouTube channel, and if you want more shorter content, you can check out my TikTok. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and follow, but most importantly, make sure you share the content with everyone that you know so that we can hold cops accountable. Until next time, horns up, peace out, good night, and good luck.